What's up guys? This is the Rifleman and we are back to bring you the next episode of my Empire Total War. Let's play as the Ottoman Empire. So, to round off what happened last time, um, we managed to capture the city of uh, Sofia back from the Austrians and I, I thought I'd won a pretty decent victory against the Austrians that I went to go and attack Don Voisco and look what I was met with. A proper seeming... <laughs> Simonovsky foot guards, like decent troops, decent arm. Well, probably fairly mediocre armies actually, but my army's not got the top quality infantry in it either, so I can't be too picky. So this army under Mohammed Edem is going to fall back to Fort Vaka to take up defensive positions in case I'm trigger, in case I've triggered them to start attacking me again, which would be horrendously not fun. Other things that happened were the Poles knocking out Prussia and also the United Provinces attacking Paris, but they are mightily upset. So I don't expect they'll hold on to it. Especially not if they leave it ungarrisoned like that. I don't know. We will see. As chances are, these other French territories have probably got quite bad financial problems but I can't see from here so I'm gonna hit end turn and let's see what happens Ooh, I want to keep him out of Klausenberg really my spy I don't want him to be um, I don't want him to be captured and killed I want them there as an observer and I'm also building up another force a small force in or near Istanbul to try and take on that raiding um, that raiding Austrian stack yeah. the uh, the Barbary states are living a, a very short-lived campaign against their um, their enemies they generate their they generate their ships in port at the end of the turn one moment then they <laughs> and they go blockade a port for a turn then the next turn, oh yeah, during the end turn phase, they're blocking the port. And then the next turn, they their ships are killed by, um, but usually the Spanish. Yeah, no. Oh, actually, this is not too bad. We're depleted, but so are they. They've got none of their artillery of them. This is doable, actually. Let's do it. Especially as we're defending. It's quite handy that their entrenched armies decided to to not push up because they were more in a bit of cavalry. And... These guys have elite troops, so I need to be really careful. So I'm going to defend. I did this did my en envelopment. Ooh, this is a nice hill. I'm going to split my guns up. I'm going to split my guns up because I want to share the firepower. Good. Let's take three of Cerades. Let's guard the flank. Then up on this other flank, we've still got some Ortan, some Seminis to hold the high point. Camels and Mamelukes. One unit down here ready to push around the flank. One camel around here to push around the flank. Then I've got Bashi Bazooks, Musselim and Seminis. These guys are just going to be deployed flat behind the line. General's going to be behind them. Okay, so they're deployed wide, much wider than I, th than I hoped they would. They've got so my all of these reserves get over here. My cavalry, they, they need to be ready to just deploy massively. I can do quite a lot in spreading these guys out. I 
Although really they need to be like that. No, you can't push up. You guys need to go you guys need to come back to about here. Pike's pushing up, so form my cavalry back. Pikeman on the flank. And Simonevsky foot guards. So we're blasting him. So I need to... My strategy on the left is to survive. You guys need to run. Run around those pikemen. Yep, so they're trying to they're trying to chase me down. These guys should eviscerate those foot guard units. Militia charging in, but I'm not so bothered about that. I'm not I don't like at all their use of combined arms. Semines are poor, but they're what I've got. These guys move out ready. No, run, run, run past them. Don't get engaged in their pikemen shenanigans. Camel nomads go for their single, their lone cavalry unit. I'm going to move these Feline over to try and break. Don't charge that square, as tempting as it might be. Trevor's, I don't want to get involved in a combat here. Okay, you hit that unit. Pikemen are falling back. Get my camels to the Simon F's guard. Damn, they're falling back big time. My feline have no ammunition. Deploy the Bashi Bazooks. my infantry to try and engulf them. Okay, this flank is is destroyed, so push up. Try and intercept their cavalry. Especially as it's skirmish cavalry, so it should fold fairly easily. Camels, get involved. So this is not going to be a good combat. We're going to lose a lot of guys on this flank, but we've got them trapped. And our camels are about to say hello to their foot guards. The cavalry might be about to beat the Navaski guard. Their pikes, you flank around. You head off for them. So you've sadly lost a lot more of your men than I'd like. Fire round shot, smash into that regiment. The 
Roll on the power of the melee blob. He goes pound that regiment of foot. So they're broken on the left. guys can keep up this charade for very long. So you push up here. Melee blob. Melee blob loves all. Go, go, gadget, bashy bazooks. Go off this regiment of line. Commit the general to help out. Spitzman of Foot's winning, but I don't know whether they can sustain their losses or not. Whew. Okay, let's turn off the artillery. Send my general to go try to prosecute some other chaps. The 41st is tearing them apart. No, wait, we're tearing apart the 41st. Even better once we get socket bayonets. I want their banner. Oh, he just killed one of our guys. This chap here. Go on, catch up to him. Just take him, just take him. Absolutely continue. All of you hold back, except for my camels. Speed up time. Out that regiment of foot. Awesome, this went a lot better than I thought it would. Come on. There we go. Russian army destroyed. It wasn't a close victory. Uh, quite badly. If they push my centre, like so, we did lose a thousand troops, so they've fallen back. As long as they don't attack us with their next army, if we get some breathing space, I'd like to get that army replenished. Or I still might continue with the withdrawal, but do a bit of an upgrade. So instead of I think the Maratha Confederacy is gone. The Mysoreans also attack them. They're blockading... Unless the Mysoreans and the Mughal Empire are now at war. Well, they must be, actually. Oh, there are naturally occurring Successful mission. Do not, not currently being exploited. do the mission. Development in these Ooh, mines. Steam-pumped mine. Yes, please. So. So even though we won a great victory here, we're still going to pull back because I want... to make my army better. I don't want to just... I don't want to keep upgrading all of these troops. I want 
Well, I just want a better army. That's what I want more than anything. So let's try and combine you with them. So we've eased our recruitment burden. And let's also get some... Do you want some... So those are grenadiers. Let's get two units of elite janissary infantry up there. Drill master, plus 5% infantry units campaign movement range, plus 2 to command when commanding infantry. Damn, son, you're 36. You should be around for a while. So we've got socket bayonets, so we want to move straight on to European Doctrine, which is going to take a long time, but it gets us some cool units. Nizam said it infantry, Nizam said it rifles, Sekban Janastri's riflemen, which, although they have the same picture, they should be different. Nizam said it light infantry, and mounted Nizam said it or ched it. I could be pronouncing it horrifically wrong. Cool. The Austrians are still raiding us. But that's okay. Because what have they got? Junk, so mostly junk units. But I would still like this army to be able to defend itself. It's got more tainted farms being built. Awesome. Still haven't got around to repairing the governor's palace. I don't mind them raiding this stuff. Um, oh good, I can also move up. It's, it's a really unit. I might actually move them up. If they want to do battle. Although to be honest, this could probably be good enough. Lots of this unit is mercenaries and irregulars anyway. So let's move them up. They're starting to re... I suppose he reorganise another army, but these are all skirmishes and basic line. I mean, the Hungarian Hussars are pretty cool. It's too bad about this guy. Can't kill him. Or these guys. Or this guy who's about to head in. Two turns till Batman is created as our bad priest is now on his way. It looks like the Brits would love to send an army to come and attack me, but they can't make it through the Straits of Gibraltar. Oh, the French have moved an army in. Here comes another Austrian force to do raiding, it looks like. But that's okay. We will push on and we will increase our territorial holdings. Although, before I start attacking Spain, not Spain, it's just because Spain was on the screen, um, I would like to hold off on creating too much of a border with Poland until I get a position where I can start building fortifications on walls. Um, because I'm a bit concerned about... Ooh, okay. The Russians are heading, heading our way. Wait a minute. That might be... Is that army the leftover dregs? Or is it that other army that was encamped? Hmm. The Mughals, I can definitely... I can definitely see the Mughals attacking um, Baghdad. Definitely see them attacking Baghdad. I mean, it was encamped. raided my farms, they're about to raid this iron mine. Could intercept, but first... That is the army that was encamped. So instead, you guys go back to Chersak. Chakask, your recruited troops will have to meet you en route. I'm going to have to move you guys up. Although it looks like they want to go hit Azerbaijan. So I don't want to upgrade this yet. I can upgrade the Pasha's Palace. It's an expensive upgrade, but it's a good upgrade. Yeah, there are their troops, the Janissaries that want to march up and join them. You guys are going to go here. 
sit here. Now I can repair the governor's palace. Let's take Hoshkadem Malvana. He can hit Josef Wagner. Yeah, let's do it. Back has started. The push back of those territories we ceded peace are going to be reclaimed. Although they're not worth very much. Um, it's the principle of the thing. So I may now be in a good position to push on Russian forces while also being fairly stable in the Balkans, which is pretty neat. Okay, let's group all my Janissaries and my... Actually, no, just, just my Janissary Musketeers and my Israelis into a battle line. Let's make one Riskers of Souls, one Janissary unit and one... Uh, Risk of Souls, Sekban Janissaries, and Janissary. Uh, Baelic Janissary Grenadiers. Let's make these as be some of my flanking units, backed up by some cavalry general in the centre behind the guns. So this unit here can flank, can advance up. So, turn off fire at will, get my Mamelukes to intercept the light horse, and also send in... So I've not charged the cavalry yet. Now charge them. So that's tied them up. Also send in my Risker of Souls, and my Janistaries can stay where they are. with my infantry we're probably gonna just eviscerate those guys turn fire at will on for these guys now because you're about to get oh no you don't I knew they'd shoot at the wrong the wrong combat I wanted them to shoot at the general Hussars are going to be in very poor shape. Those guys, the 23rd foot is about to get destroyed. Let's march my melee infantry up as a block towards this unit of infantry at the back. So they did manage to break my square. Okay. Throw my melee infantry unit into the line. Redirect my artillery fire against their cavalry to the rear. I see skirmisher warband. Push on into the regimental cav or provincial cavalry. Hit them from the flank. Let's run this cavalry through onwards into the warband. Throwing my general into the mix. All of their skirmishes are here by the looks of it. There we go. <laughs> They've broken completely. Halt artillery fire. Or your musket fire. Everyone's just had enough. 
Okay, send these guys in against the wall then, just to make sure they don't reform. Because, yeah, this is a... Yeah, the wall bands have broken up. Don't worry about the wall bands themselves. Ooh, all of you go after this unit of provincial cav. I mean, I've sped it up because they're, they're pretty much dead, and now they almost certainly are. Ah, the war bands are coming back. Everyone's just going to smash into these war bands that have routed, then came back, and are going to die once more at the hands of our Austrian. Not Austrian. Absolutely continue. Let's make sure all our. Okay, all of you go away, except the general's. Bodyguard, you carry on. My, my foot infantry have to get involved because the general's making such a pig's ear of it. They're, they're, they've at least successfully charged the bulk of their... the bulk of their routing unit, although they will they probably will escape. Let's see if my general's bodyguard can make it. They, they're dead. Nope, they are going to rout. But it was a decisive victory. That routing utterly, utterly destroyed for almost no loss of our own. And then we can recompose our army and we march up to hold the pass, but where do we... what side do we sit on? Probably this side. Because we don't have to cross that bridge. Awesome. Yeah, the Marathas did die. That's not probably not helped my trade one bit. Although it might have opened up some slots. Spain! Let's trade. Awesome. Yeah, but they're not going to let us trade. Dagestan aren't going to trade with us. Venice, no. I mean, we're trading with... We traded with um, Spain, but they're being blockaded. By the Italian states. I would like to help you, Spain. But I cannot... Which is why these enlightenment tags are so, so valuable. To get that plus five per turn to town wealth. That growth is just huge. It means I can upgrade more trading ports. And also I do need to upgrade this plantation as well. But let's hit in turn. Ah, our priest is on to go convert. Well, not the Middle East, but, you know, the... Northwestern India slash Pakistan region. Because there's lots of... Ooh, so the French have deployed their army, but it looks like they got repulsed from Brussels. I can't help but feel like it would have been a... Ah, they're going to try and go around that way, are they? I'll just move my stack to the west. wonder if they're going to come... wonder if the nine provinces will continue their push down and if they take Madrid. Yeah, you've got lots of gentlemen running around now. More reinforcements heading towards our front. 
They took that. Ooh, that. Okay. I was fairly sure they were at war with Dagestan. But I guess not. God damn, they really do want to steal my techs. I don't want to send any of my... I don't want to send any of my... Although I've got guys that are good at dueling. So maybe I should do that to try kill their... Their gentlemen. Hey, the Barbary State is going to go sail and invade someone. Go knock out the Italian states. The opportunity to construct useful... Oh, that's more. It's another pottery workshop. 2,000 for that's quite a lot. Now Genoa's being blockaded by the Barbary States. Okay, let's try this. I never normally do this. Well, firstly, let's check. Oh, I can't actually... I can't actually check how good they are. Amen. Well, no, you can't. Oh, okay. I don't know how that works then. Batman and Anatolia all the way out to the east. So this pleasure garden should be generating rakes, but they are sadly not. This army then may march up to go and take Taki. And this army, for the second time, can march back down to Baghdad to act as a, to act as a guardian. Mohammed Edem, Edem is going to... See, so you're there. You can't cross there, I don't think. You're stood on the river, but there's no ford. Same with you, but I think you're this side. Is that their depleted army? It is. Um, I think I am going to fight it, but... Looking at the timer, I believe that's the end of this part. So, thanks for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the first expansion to Russian territory. Cheers everyone.